Hello and welcome subscribers and viewers of AVG News. My name is Nkolisi, the son of Nube. Uh, this week we begin, as we promised you last week, conversations, political conversations from across Africa. And what other country to start this with besides Zimbabwe, where we come from? We have uh, on this, in the studio a member of Triple C, is the spokesperson for South Africa. If he is not, then he's going to correct me. But his name, or let me say our names, I'm Olisi Nube. He's Olisi Nube is my namesake. We come from the home, the same home area in Zimbabwe, that is Matopo, although he's on the south side of it and I'm on the northern side of it. Lucky, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, my brother. Um, I think I must say it's an honor to be interviewed by somebody of your caliber uh, looking how, how much you have contributed to the media fraternity. So, yeah, I, I must say I'm honored. Well, I, I'll take the compliment, although I don't know what caliber <laughs> I am. <laughs> right, you are a triple C. Triple C. Yeah, are you so, the spokesperson? Did I introduce you correctly? Um, no, let's uh, correct there. Yeah. I am not the spokesperson of uh, Triple C either for my branch or the district or the province and when we're talking about the province we're talking about south africa yeah. i am the interim let's let's put that in 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 context i am the interim organizing secretary of uh, hillbro branch which is one of the biggest branches in the greater johannesburg region okay yeah right he set the record straight there uh this is not supposed to be an interview. Yeah. We're supposed to have members of different other political parties. Yeah. It's supposed to be a political discussion. So I would have loved. I think let's keep it there. Uh, let's discuss first Zimbabweans in yeah. Europe. Yeah. In terms of politics, you had a, a march. A march on the that 11th. is last yeah. weekend. Yeah. How was the attendance? Were we impressed with the attendance? How was the attitude from Zimbabweans that you passed uh, by as you went about the, the, the matching business? Uh, first and foremost, let's start at what really inspired us yeah. to, 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 to come up with that initiative because that was going to really give us a good perspective on exactly what is it that we wanted to achieve. Um, we were we were we are inspired by the, the the desire to see Zimbabwe becoming the country that we all uh, used to before uh, Zanu PF took over and ran over the economy and the country and the infrastructure. We can name whatever that you can name. So there is a call. Um, by Triple C to the citizens or for the citizens to come together and rescue the situation. Now, the only way we can participate, all of us as citizens of Zimbabwe, is to partake in the voter registration exercise so that we can uh, be able to be, to vote uh, when uh, the elections come because we, we don't believe that Zimbabwe should go the route of uh, going to trenches again. Yeah. Uh, we cannot go that route. We know what, uh, what war does to a country. So as Triple C, we don't believe in that. It's not part of uh, our ideology as a party. Uh, what we want is to um, follow the constitution, a beautiful constitution for that matter, which Zimbabwe has. So to answer your question, we had a very beautiful match. The attendance was very good. And I'm sure you saw it, uh, that we had also invited the, 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 the ruling party, which is uh, African National Congress here in South Africa, mm -hmm. but at, um, at, at, at district level and obvious. Uh, we are the citizens, we work with these people day to day, um, therefore we felt that it was important to also give them a platform to express themselves about what is it that they also want um, to see. 
and I think they have um, articulated their positions as uh, the ordinary members of ANC that uh, they would they would love to see Zimbabwe prospering and even becoming better than South Africa. Yeah. Then uh, the attitude of Zimbabweans. Uh, I think people, we must understand, we're coming from an era uh, of uh, brutalization, an era of uh, no space for democratic expression for individuals. And now people have decided to, to give up. Yeah. Uh, on the, when you talk about Zimbabwe, people have given up. That must be said. Now, our approach was to not just uh, make noise marching on the street. We did that uh, in June 16, 2022. I'm sure you were part of that. You, you came. Then when we said we realized what, where we needed to improve, that's why this time we brought in, uh, we, we, we had invited all political parties basically in South Africa. Action SA, they didn't make it. They responded uh, positively and encourage Zimbabweans to go and register to vote. And uh, they also uh, allude, alluded that they are seeing um, a landslide victory for Triple C, provided people would heed to the call of registering to vote, go and, re and vote. Uh, you, you are raising one critical issue. You are yeah. saying Zimbabweans have given up. Yeah. And that is a fact. Yes. Now, there's a Zimbabwean who is in Ilpo, yeah. who is not interested in politics, yeah. who is here because it was unlivable back home, yeah. uh, economically. Yeah. And to them, uh, there is nothing that is going to change if in, after 2023 elections, you are yeah. saying there is a landslide to victory yeah. for Triple C. Yeah. I want to try and find the nexus between reviving the hope yeah. uh, of Zimbabweans who have lost it all yes. and uh, giving them that confidence in Triple C. What is it that you are bringing forth to revive the hope first and have them become interested again in registering, let alone going home to vote? Uh, look, policy the the the, the 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 fundamental thing that we need to understand is that um voting or not voting is 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 a choice of an individual that we must understand but with this issue of zimbabwe uh, we need to understand that those that have seen the light and i want to believe that some of us, especially, I must say that, that Triple C members have seen the light and they have heard, they, they, I mean, we, we, we're getting good pro programs that we get within Triple C that really educates people because you cannot say, I will change the person's thinking or uh, narrative just by talking to them. Sometimes you need to put yourself in the shoes of that person and understand them first. What is it that makes them to say, you know what, I don't want anything to do. So what we're bringing as Triple C, especially Hillbrook Branch, we, we've got programs that we have, apart from telling people to go and register to vote. We have programs whereby we, we find out what are the problems of the people. For example, you find that there are events here where are organized by Zimbabweans. Yeah. As a party um, or as a branch, we take it upon ourselves to say, let's go and meet the people, not just by just becoming um, your politi or politician of the day who wants to go and be given a platform, yeah. but how do you contribute? I don't want to mention the events by names because it will look like we, we don't sponsor events, but we, we support financially. We go there and we say, let's say maybe we are 12. We buy tickets of that event and we go there. If, uh, let's say, an artist is launching an album and they have told us, we go there yeah. and we buy a CD. If Zanu PF can buy a CD for Sandra for about 10,000 US dollars, why should we not do that uh, to our brothers and sisters here in South Africa? I mean, you um, 
you are in the uh, media space, you have seen how many uh, uh, talented artists that are scattered all over Jobbik here, but they don't have any support. So if ever they do their uh, launch of whatever album, we were in Tembisa when one of the artists was launching his album, and we interacted with the people, we educate the people, we cancel the people. Some people end up saying, you know what, guys, I think I'm hearing what you're saying. Please, let's meet and, and, and talk. As I come to this interview right now, I was in a meeting whereby I was talking to um, a business people from Zimbabwe where I was telling them, because they said, come and give us the reasons why we should put resources yeah. into Triple C. And I'm saying, you people in the, uh, who are doing business, you should be doing business in a country where crime is, is lesser, and the environment, the attitude of human resource in Zimbabwe is out of this world. Yeah. Imagine if uh, you had all these things set up in Zimbabwe. When you're looking for a, a journalist, uh, you just go down to the, to the people. But unfortunately, that does not happen because of what ZANU-PF has done to that beautiful country. So we are bringing... Uh, we are changing that paradigm shift as far as the thinking capacity is concerned to people. Yeah, uh, you're, you're talking about uh, members of your party attending events. I was at the Tenvisa Lodge. Yeah. I saw, I think, three members of your party yeah. uh, wearing Tripusiri Kalia. One of them is my former uh, schoolmate. He was just a few grades be behind okay, me. Okay, okay. Um, but now, one would say, you're saying this is one way of trying to revive the confidence of Zimbabweans, but one would say, yeah, we have seen the political doing parties, the same thing. Yeah. We have seen um, MRP. I think MRP have attended almost every, and they, they 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 don't hide. They even advertise these events. They attend them. Yeah, I think from the region where we come from, Tebeleland, yeah. they have been the most. Uh, supportive of yeah. artists, they even yeah. hire artists in their events. Yeah. So what is it that is new that you guys are doing? Because this has been done before. Okay. Is it not you maybe trying to also uh, piggyback on what other people have been doing? Uh, the, I think what what you are mentioning is very, it's, it's very important because uh, it doesn't matter if I do what you have done. What matters is how consistent I am. Am I able to sustain that? So we have noticed that a lot of people, they, 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 are, they, they don't sustain that. They, they just go there to show face. Yeah. Uh, I, I would call, they're just going there for PR purposes for themselves. But that's not what we're doing. When we also give, if you look uh, on Saturday, the artist that came to perform yeah. at our event, these are the artists that have, you have never known, and I haven't seen them. And I'm sure after a year I will talk to Ezagiti TV to interview one of the artists that uh, we, 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 we brought on stage the, on Saturday. And now, it's not about the artist, but it's about us speaking to the people. And then after that, we maintain that relationship with those people that we found there. To us, Triple C is not all about telling people to go and register to vote. But we be, we're building a society, we're building a family, we're building a cycle of people that think um, a progress, that think development. And to do that, we also hold our own events, whereby now we invite those people to come and see what we do, apart from just talking about politics. Yeah, um, I, I, I get that. Um, I, 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 it would be unfair yeah. uh, for me to start talking national issues with because you introduced as you I mean yourself as yeah. somebody who, who is a branch level. Yeah, a branch. Yeah. I want us to keep it at Hillbro. Okay. Where there is a very high concentration of Zimbabweans. Definitely. Where there is a very uh, serious socio political no, no socio economic yes. uh, problem. Yeah. Which is called crime. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. There are Zimbabweans there. Mm. They are killing one another. Mm. There are Zimbabweans there mm. who are doing business, which is on the positive. Yeah. What is it that Triple C at the Hillbro branch level mm. is doing to try and maybe boost those who are doing business yeah. 
you are a businessman yourself. Yes. I've attended events where you've been speaking business. I mean, before yes. you even, I mean, came <laughs> venture into yeah, active for, politics. Uh, a politician or something <laughs> like that. But you've, you've been involved in business. Yeah. Let's start with maybe perhaps. Yeah. The business side. What is it that Triple C is doing at branch level in Hippo to make sure that those Zimbabweans who are doing business there obviously cannot give them money. Yes. But you've been there before. Yes. There are ideas that you can throw in there. Yes. There are Zimbabweans who are meeting every day, I mean, yeah. every week, yeah. every weekend. Yeah. On Sundays, yeah. talking burial societies. Yeah. <laughs> what is it that you are doing to show that you are with them at that hill branch level? Thank you very much. You know, you have. Um, I'm glad. You know, I, I think next time when you invite me, definitely I would gladly come, because I, 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 I sometimes find it very um, unproductive when we come. We just talk politics, yeah. and we separate. Um, business from politics because uh, it is very important. Now, uh, what we have asked, it, it's like you are a prophet because we are working on a program that Triple uh, C is going to be uh, conducting some workshops. I will start, like you said, I back home, as I told you, I'm going home today. I've got, I'm doing a goat farming project. Okay. Um, I'm also doing uh, layers. I've got more than 300 layers that I have in my homestead okay. in rural areas. And I'm not talking, I, I'm not based in the city. Yeah. I'm based in rural areas. I've got more than 300 goats, um, which I have realized that uh, a lot of people, for example, let's say, I, I don't like all the time saying ZANU PF, but I'm, 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 I'm left with no choice. ZANU PF has uh, developed a culture of handouts in Zimbabwe, have developed a culture of uh, creating a problem uh, and starving people and then come as messiahs and saviors that are going to feed people uh, like what Jesus did. Yeah. But we are not into that business as Triple C. So Hillbrook Branch, what we are saying is that we are going to be embarking on, even after elections, we are going to continue with that as a party, as a branch, whereby we are saying how do we decongest Hillbro, especially with Zimbabweans, as you have alluded. Now, what we need to do is that we need to empower people because it's something else to come and say, Please, guys, go home and uh, stop crime. Go home. Stop doing business in Hillbro. Go home. To do what? Yeah. You know? Now, if you realize, I'm glad you are coming from uh, Matopo, and you know that is one of the regions that strives when you are talking of cattle ranching and, yes. and goats. Now, what makes people not to understand or not to do uh, farming? It is because they lack knowledge. Yeah. So, we as a branch, we said, guys, we cannot just be preaching politics all the time. Sometimes as a branch, we need to go down to the people, teach them skills, yeah. give them information. So very soon you are going to cover an event. Probably it will be at Hillbro Theatre because we don't want to take our programs out of Hillbro because we want the people who are living in Hillbro to benefit. We are going to bring um, people that are going to teach in this case, as this one, we're going to be teaching them about goat farming. Why is it important that one utilizes the space they have in their rural home? What, in order to make it an economic hub, because everybody's talking about creating jobs in the cities, yeah. but the rural development and the economy for that matter. We are seeing, for example, we use Matebelen because I come from there. If you look how developed it is, you will see that people have got big houses and all that. Well, it's good, but I don't think it's sustainable because at the end of the day, you've got the land that you are not using. Yeah. That land must be utilized. How do you utilize it? Have some eco a, a, a financial generating pro projects in your homestead. You drill your borehole. Sometimes, do you know that people do not know what it takes to drill a borehole? They don't know. A lot of people are getting ripped up. So as a, as a branch, we can have a workshop and bring the experts to come and teach people how do you go about when you want to drill a borehole? And then what, do, what is it that you need? Then from there, we also 
uh, there, there is a program that we, we, we have also adopted, which is uh, mainly pushed by Umama Blanga Ebulilima. Okay. Uh, she brings people together and she doesn't choose whether you are from Zapu, Zanu, whoever. It's about empowering the people of Zimbabwe in how to make soap, how to bake bread, and not using those uh, uh, old, uh, what, what we have seen ZANPF uh, doing there. No, we're talking, we've got gas. I mean, if you've got cows in your crawl, you can make your own biogas from yeah, that. Yeah. And you can buy a stove that uses gas and use your own cows as, as, as energy. Yeah, you, you're talking mostly about doing this business at home. Yeah. Um, I say you yes, mean keep here? it at Hillbro. Okay. There are vendors from Zimbabwe. Yeah. You see them being harassed. Yeah. There are vendors who are struggling to even make ends meet. They're yeah. struggling to grow their business. Yeah. But they're already in business yeah. here in Hillbro. Yeah. What is it as a party? Or oh, let me let, let me not be unfair and as a brand. Keep it at triple C. But okay. What oh. is it as Zimbabwean political parties? Okay. What is it that you think should be done and what is it that you also are doing vis-a-vis -vis what needs to be done okay for those vendors to be able to register their businesses so that they're not chased away by metros yeah for them to trade in places that are designated for that yeah what is it that you believe should be done and what is it that you are doing the first things first yeah let's look at why are these people doing business here and uh, is it at their will or their it's not, force they it's not here. It's not, but they are already here. Yeah. Now, as the moment we say it's not at their will to be here, it means there is a cause. So what we're talking about here is an effect, meaning there is a cause. Yeah. What is a cause that chased them away? Because I strongly believe that you can also be a registered um, a, a, a vendor in Zimbabwe yes. and get a space to do your, 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 your business in Zimbabwe. So first things first. Let's find out what is the problem. The problem is our politics in Zimbabwe, yeah. which is toxic, which is um, closing the space, which is not giving people the opportunity. I mean, let's be honest. You saw what happened in Blawai. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's on Fifth, uh, Fifth Avenue, if I'm not mistaken. There is chaos there. Yeah. Yeah, there is chaos. And very soon i think echo dini will be opened and i think the first phase is opened if i'm not mistaken then the second phase of the vendors it will be opened meaning there is space to do what we are talking about here because we should be ashamed that we see a woman selling tomatoes and and, and vegetables on the streets of in south africa why is she not doing that in zimbabwe it's because of the problem that we're so right now we are focusing on dealing with the cause and then those that would have chosen not to go back home because they they are those that will say you know what i think i'm fine i think i'm sorted provided but, they're documented but dealing with the cause yeah you're talking about i presume yeah kicking zanu pf out of power yes obvious now these two a vendor was listening here yeah. on their phone okay. in Hilpro, yeah. waiting for customers to come and buy Umroho. It's too far-fetched. It's an utopic dream. Okay. They've been hearing this since 2000, the days of the MTC, yeah. up to now. Yeah. And partly your party is to blame because at the same time when you're saying people should register to vote, uh -huh. your leaders are saying elections are going to be read, they have lost faith already. Uh, in the electoral process. Yeah. And this Zimbabwe who is there already has lost even more hope. Yeah. So I am saying before ZANU PF is removed, okay. these people need to continue living. Yeah, definitely. And some of them are not even interested in the politics. Yeah. Some of them will tell you that the reason why they're not doing this in Zimbabwe uh. has got nothing to do with politics, but it's got everything to do with. Oh. The lack of currency okay. in Zimbabwe. So they are here. They want I, until you take out Zimbabwe. I get here. your point. Yeah. I get what your is point. it? That right. Is. Let's 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 as as Triple C, especially Hillbro Branch, we are working. Let's start here. Yeah. We are working with all sectors uh, in, in 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 government sectors in, yes. in, in, in 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 Johannesburg. For example, there is a program that we we just waiting for. 
approvals from the authorities we are working with uh, i just want to show you that we are not just a political party that people are used to yeah. unfortunately uh zanu pf uh agents and sympathizers yeah. they try by all means to twist whatever that is being said or done by triple c yeah. and we understand you know when you are afraid of a person and you can't face the person uh, 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 versus you end up trying to tarnish but that is another discussion for another day the program that we are working on right now is triple c which i believe there is no any other political party has ever done yeah. in 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 south africa we are working with the Johannesburg metropolis yes. we wrote a proposal we did give to them whereby we are addressing the issue i'm sure you have seen children that are begging on the streets yes do you know 99.9 percent .9 of those children are from zimbabwe yeah they are brought here there is a syndicate that is operating and it is coming all the way from harare and they bring those people and um these that are blind they bring them they take them over this side to come into whatever they, they are doing so we have said those people because at the end of the day that is the future of the country so what we are doing with together with johannesburg metro uh, police and the social work department those kids will will have a place those that have found that they are genuinely looking for uh, um, ends meet trying to make ends meet on the on the traffic lights they will be assisted through the effort of triple c now let's talk about um businesses that why is it that most most of the times in south africa i think the the the, the business space is very uh fatal so to say yeah. it's easy to start a business and it works but why is it that most of the businesses they don't work that's where people like myself come in because yeah. i am a qualified business administrator yeah. so when when we speak we we normally when i go to people's businesses um just this morning i was drinking tea from one of the 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 the, the, the kitchens there and it's a zimbabwe yeah unfortunately the way the presentation of the food and all that it made me to say next time i'm not going to come here and now you can see that this person has an opportunity yeah. but they won't make it because of the way how they are doing their business day to day as far as operations are concerned so this means that i can come in you can group these people and say today we want to show you what when we say we're talking about a, a turnover what are we talking about because yes. most people they don't know they start a business doesn't matter how small it is they don't know how to upscale their business they don't know how to to expand who said if you are having a, a, a kitchen stall in Hillbro, you can't have another one in Hill, in Uve, you can't have another one in Bramfontein. But now that person will never grow because they don't know how. The problem is the know-how. Yeah. So as Triple C, we, we look in, into those things. Yes, for now, we are so committed um, with uh, elections and all those things yeah. but definitely the question that you're asking it makes a lot of sense and to us as a as a people uh, oriented party we don't ignore because we are not forcing people to to cross over to zimbabwe no those that say i think i've found my feet here i want to do business here as triple c we have all those people that can advise yeah. and secondly uh when you're talking about people not being harassed and arrested by the authorities and all that obvious we are a party that believes in engage engagement yeah uh, when we talk about engagement we know we're not like zanu pf whereby they talk about engagement and then the other day they come they say no no well, you know when we say engagement we mean it so here it's a matter of engaging with the south african uh, 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 law enforcement agencies and believe me uh, Ngolisi, when i tell you this i i, I go to every police station I've, I've i've been to balfour i've been to 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 hillbro i've been to to go and uh, attend um meetings that discuss the issues that affect zimbabweans let me tell you one thing there was a time where by uh, uh, there was um, i think it was an operation in Hilbro. yeah and that operation was only arresting Zan um, uh, zimbabweans they will arrest and those people will not be deported yeah 
then we, we had to come in and say, it's either you don't do it, because now this is an abuse. You are not making people to abide by the, 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 the law. Yeah, yeah. When you arrest extortion. somebody, yeah, it was extortion. And we had a very fruitful discussion with the Hilpro police station. And I don't think it's, 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 if it's happening, it's that really uh, too much now. I okay. don't think so. The reason I asked you about business, as I said, is because I know, I know you as a business person, I know yes. you as a business advisor, I know yes. you as a motivational speaker in terms of business. Yeah. I think you've addressed that one and people who are listening here will be willing or wishing to hear more from you yeah. or see more from your party. Yeah. And then the second issue now. Yeah. I think it's unfair for us to just blame authorities, especially in when in it comes to help yes. for arresting people because yes, yes. this is the second part. I asked the question but then I put it aside. Yeah. The issue of crime. Yeah. Uh, there is a lot of crime happening in Hebrew. People have been killed. Yeah. And most of the people, let me say this, uh, without uh, any fear of contradiction, mm. that most of the people are doing this as Killing fellow Zimbabweans. Uh, what is it that, as a party, you want to <laughs> You see, when we want to talk and about crime and address crime effectively, yeah. uh, we should not uh, nationalize crime. Yeah, but we're I, talking about Hebrew here. Yes. We are talking about crime that is affecting Zimbabweans in Hebrew. Yeah. That is a statistics that is... Okay. That's, that's, that's a sad um, uh, uh, thing. And as a party, we really... We are also concerned as much as everybody is concerned because it shouldn't be like that. But now, let's uh, look at this way. I, I know this does not make sense but because most of the time when you say what people don't want uh what what you say what people don't want to hear yeah. then it, it, they they regard it as a nonsense thing but the fact is why are we having so many zimbabweans in one place in hebrew that's a fact that we need to look that's that's one of the fundamentals that we need to look at why are we having so much Zimbabweans in Hilpo? Because why is it that when um, people are in one space and they're coming from one place, but they are now becoming enemies? Obvious, there is a squabble of uh, a survival, if I may put it. I'm not saying people must kill each other because they want to survive. No, no, no. As a party, we are saying there is no one who has a right to take anybody's life, abuse or do anything to harm either emotionally, physically or otherwise the next person. Now, it will also come back to us as a party as you are asking what is it that we can do in that, in that regard. Look, Nkolisi, a lot of people, especially in Hillpro, when you look at it, um, um, let me take it from after you left school, yeah. yourself and myself. The reason why you don't do crime or I don't do crime, it's not that you just chose not to do crime. No. It is because of the way how you were brought up, yeah. either at home and at school. The level of education you received is the one that made you to be the man that you are today. If you look at the people, most of the people that are committing crime at, 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 in Hilbro, you will realize that these are the victims of poor education mm -hmm. back in Zimbabwe. They've got nothing to fall back on. No skill, nothing. Academically, vocational or otherwise, they are empty. Now, Again, when you go to that guy who is busy robbing people on Quad Street and say, my guy, what you are doing is wrong, he will never understand what you are talking about. You understand? Yeah. Yes. So there must be a way of addressing these things from where the problem is. I, go, I continuously go back to Zimbabwe. I know you, 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 you feel like I'm running away from your question, but we have to allude on that and say the problem is systems have collapsed in Zimbabwe we can arrest all these people that are doing whatever they are doing take them to prison and all that believe me we will have another hundred coming in because back there the things are not okay 
let's fix there but what do we do because while we're fixing there what do we do with these ones yeah, as, a short -term solution. as a short-term solution right we are working hand in hand with the with the with the with the with the law enforcement ag agencies as i said not and we are encouraging people because let me tell you policy we see in this room now if something happens here yeah. there is no way that one or two people don't know about that and if we hide that information we are equal guilty as the person who committed the crime yeah. now what we encourage these are things that when we interact with the authorities they are encouraging that guys these are your people you know them a criminal is a criminal that's true what do we do with the criminal if you see any criminal activity report it because at the end of the day when the 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 the, the article comes and say four zimbabweans were arrested for killing a person it does not say another zimbabwe no. it's a, a a person was shot on quads and and claim street or i mean and on quads and caroline street yeah. and it, the persons who shot that that person are zimbabweans me and you are now part of that yeah. then people will be like what have you been saying we're telling you that Zimb so as zimbabweans we need to come out of our shells and do as we do at home what do we do at home when crime is committed we know that a criminal cannot just escape we will do something yes we know people are armed here and all that yeah. but let's find ways there is hill pro community police forum there is uh, there is hill pro police station there is uvel there is uh, park central if you see that there is a spot whereby people are really committing crime report it as citizens we we have a duty i mean as a party we we can do as much as we can but this goes beyond political affiliation yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, the reason I, I have to apologize for putting this on your doorstep because <laughs> it, it affects every Zimbabwe, and I believe that I believe I agree with you 100%. From Zimbabwe are not doing enough to try and address this. Yes, we have seen parties like Action SA, yeah. EFF standing up against crime here in South yeah. Africa. Yeah. I believe that Zimbabwean parties also, not yeah. only political parties, even yeah. other Zimbabwean organizations, should be doing something about this. That's why I had to ask you the question, and then politically now yeah how is the reception of triple c in is it south in, africa, in south africa yeah, in hillbro especially in Hillbro. uh i must say that with confidence that the reception has been very good um a lot of people were confused remember uh triple c is just in existence not even a a, a year maybe but people were still not confused were still confused sorry in a sense that they were thinking is this mdc or what is going on and all that right um let me show you something about triple c myself i was part of the youth structures uh, during mock and swag rice era okay yeah um i voted in 2000 i voted in 2005 if i'm not mistaken 2008 if i'm not mistaken um but with what was happening uh because of the so-called structures in mdc yeah. <laughs> the lot happened and people were taking the party to court as they please and that really uh didn't do good for the party um hence that's why myself I, I i believe in nelson chamisa because everything was taken from him everything and people thought he's gone he was not going to come back but because um i think he's a he's one of the youngest tried and tested politicians in zimbabwe if 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 anybody disagrees with me, with me on that they can bring another one that we can to compare with uh, Nelson but I believe that he, he passed the test when everything just f fell off but he came back he understood the mandate that the people wanted you know the good thing about politics is that executive and whoever can do whatever they do up there but if people say we want him policy yeah. on the ground that's it and if people say no 
you can do and say whatever you do so um after all those shenanigans that happened people not chamisa because people are making a mistake and say yeah chamisa formed the party maybe the executive could have come up with the name and all that but people after consultation by the leadership they they came to the people they consulted the people uh, they consulted all sectors um, within the communities and people said you know what do away with this thing and just leave form something else i'm sure my leader was not uh, convinced but people convinced him and he formed it and we, we, it was launched triple c which is the citizens coalition for change came into into place and in hilpro if you look at it we have and i'm not just talking i'm i'm, I'm I, I, we are i always say we are one of the smartest political parties in in in, in africa if not in the world why do i say that because we don't just claim and say at hilpro we've got our database says we have 684 members okay. at Hillbro, of which 80% of those are registered members to vote. Okay. And they subscribe to the leadership of Hillbro branch. Now, what show me a political party from Zimbabwe that have that kind of database. I don't think there is any. Well, uh, there's a lot of subjectivity in what you're saying, <laughs> <laughs> and you agree with me that. Uh, but now, I want us also, because you are talking about Chamisa, I would mm. personally say there's more cultism in Zimbabweans choosing him than anything else. But I say I'm not going to bet on you with okay. national issues. All right, no, thank you for that. Uh, there's a Zimbabwean who lives in Hilpro. Yes. Who doesn't have enough money to pay their rent. Yes. So when they hear you talking about them going to register, coming back, going back to vote, mm, that's very expensive. Yeah, yeah. Is there something that is a branch, maybe, mm -hmm. or that maybe your province has mm -hmm. told you that is going to happen uh, when it comes to taking people home to vote? Mm -hmm. Fine, they can use their money to go and register because they are going there for holidays. Many mm -hmm. were there mm -hmm. uh, in the, during the December holidays. Others are going during Easter. Mm -hmm. But to go home and vote, I don't think it will be a holiday for, no. to, to start with. Yeah, yeah, it won't. And it won't be afforded. It will be during the week. Of, yes. Is there and something that maybe you are planning as a party to make sure that the weapons go back? We ferry them. What? Right. Um, like I told you just now, that yeah. we are a very smart political party. And Hill Pro Branch, for that matter, is um, the executive uh, of uh, Hill Pro Branch, is, 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 consists of. Uh, very brilliant young people for that matter yeah i think the only person that is is 50 years or above is only one the rest is below so that tells you that uh, and uh, well learned for that matter most of the time whenever we do an exercise we start by looking at how cost effective wise how is it how much is it going to cost us then from there we we look at other means that are less cost effective now when we march there and say people must go to vote those who were at our assembly point there in changani park yeah. had exactly when we articulated how a zimbabwean who is in hillbro can participate okay. without even going back to, okay. to 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 register and vote themselves right we educating people that you can be an influence or a catalyst of change while least you are here okay. by speaking to your family right for example i will give you an example because what we are talking about it's something that we have done yeah. there is a guy who said guys i'm working monday to monday I don't even have an off day. Yeah. But I want to be part of this. He's from Bulilima, I think, what, 14. And we said, okay, what is it? He said, I do have the money. In this case, he said, I do have the money. I can go to Bakebridge and come back. It will cost him about a thousand, right? Yeah. To go, because the ticket to go across the border is the same as going yeah. into Zimbabwe. It will cost him about a thousand, right? And then we said to him, even if, since you're saying you can't go, but you have a thousand rand, 
talk to your family members back at home and ask them to find out who is leading umguazo of triple c in the area and then your family members and their friends and everybody find them those people and once you get them we are going to assist you on top of your thousand rand we will put another two thousand rand so you will have three thousand rand and that three thousand rand will be for diesel it was before the blitz water blitz whereby the zec is going out to the people yeah. and these people had to travel for 80 kilometers to go and register and through this guy's influence one person 89 people were registered through his effort okay. right he could have gone to pay bridge by himself yeah. and registered and used 1000 rand one vote but 1000 rand was used for fuel to go and ferry 89 people and they were registered by one person who is not even registered to vote but he is partaking yeah. we will say indirect but he's direct because he put his money so that's what we are saying to Zimbabweans that you don't for example uh, people in UK yeah. most of them they don't come to register and or vote they, it's very difficult for them some yeah especially when your papers are not yet in order and all that we can't blame them but guess what they are funding the movement they are influencing their families they are making sure that their families are if you hear the word umkwazu you must know that it is driven by the diaspora most of the time yeah. the soldiers the foot soldiers on the ground they must be um uh, uh, given resources to do that so our 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 struggle is not it's not about it's not about having a a, a slip to always register to vote no okay. you can be involved otherwise for example um i think let me show you something here for example you have people that will say okay i cannot um i cannot be part of this then you will have somebody who's gonna do this he's not going to go home and and and, and register yeah. to vote yeah. but he has provided this i'm just making an example yes. yes you have people that are designers and all that that person will come and join us like today i was talking to somebody who's got a very big factory of um, uh, 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 embroidery he says my brother i'm too busy there's no way i can go to zimbabwe i haven't been to zimbabwe for uh, uh, 12 years but i've heard about this i saw and guess what i don't know this guy and i was even skeptic to go there because after what one has said, you would never know what's going to happen. So he said to me, I'm, I, I love the idea. I love the, the, the thing that you guys are doing. I'm going to do it. Now, we are pushing the voter uh, registration on the next five days that is left. Sometimes <coughs> other people, because it's not that because there is a, vo there, there is a voter blitz, then everybody, the, the registration center is a do's and yeah. That's not the case. Some people still need transportation to go there then we are sending money and where do we get the money from people who are part of the movement but are not even going to go and reach so everybody everybody is treated equally whether you have a sleep or you don't have okay thank you very much uh babes as a last question yeah there is a critical issue here affecting the problems you know about it okay the zep yes has been uh, discontinued yeah people are busy applying for waivers yeah. others are applying for permits some are getting them some are not yeah um as a part yeah is there anything that you may be tried yeah to make sure that those who get the permits yeah make uh good use of them yeah those who fail to get them yeah. find a soft lending maybe at home yeah you see there are some things that i not i but we believe and term them as very very sensitive yeah. they need to be handled with care yeah it's unfortunately the issue of permits have been handled not in a bad way but sometimes we haven't sensitized it the way uh, it should be. These are one of the issues that need to be diplomatically dealt with. 
uh, so that the the host also will not be upset yeah. because we, we we run a risk of upsetting the host yeah, that's and true. when the host is upset it's like when somebody comes into your house and you have given them permission to stay there for about and then the day when they decide that uh, you they don't want you then you you revolt and say ah don't tell me where am i going yeah but with that being said as a party we as a branch for that matter let me speak for the branches because i'm here because of the branch as a branch we have said we want to hear exactly what the national executive is saying about this issue okay. and advocate nelson chamisa has uh, come uh, out and uh, and 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 appealed to the government of south africa that can people be given chance uh, because Zimbabwe right now, let's be honest, yeah. there is this narrative that hey, people, uh, we are Umsha and all that, uh, yeah. and all that. That's that's a lie. I mean, we are just calling people to go and kill each other when they want food, because there is no way everybody will just jump the border and go that side and and have food. It will be difficult. So now, political parties, I think they should also assist the organizations that are are pushing for Zimbabweans to get these permits because it's not it's not it's not a lot. Yeah. I think it's about let's say in total it's about three three hundred thousand. One seventy eight. One hundred and seventy eight. Now I mean really we can we can really put together a, an, an effort yeah. and means to really appeal for those people to get their permits renewed if we can put our brains together. One hundred and seventy eight thousand but how many Zimbabweans uh, uh, do not qualify for that? More than three million, yeah. of which these are the people that, while least other civil organizations are pursuing this matter, uh, others, let's go and try to find a permanent solution so that when these ones, their uh, permits expire, if they will be renewed, then they will easily come back home. But as you have said, that um, if somebody can approach us and say, guys, I'm in trouble. Um, I have my permit. I tried to apply for a waiver and it didn't go well. We cannot blame the South African government. Yes, we will say, but guys, you gave us false hope by giving us, renewing these things for four, four times, which makes it about 20 years. Now we have established a life. All of a sudden, boom, go home. Anyway, if a person comes to us and say, guys, um, I've got a challenge. I, there is no way. I can survive now. Obvious as a branch, we, we, we will because we, we try not just to be politically um, focused and ignore the social uh, problems that people come across. We are in, 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 in a foreign country. We have to look after each other. Now, lastly, yes, sir. I'm promoting you to being Zimbabwean ambassador in South Africa. <laughs> in this instance, uh, I want you to address <laughs> two sections of people. Yeah, you know there are parties that are formed around migration here in South Africa. Yes, parties that are anti-migrants, parties that are speaking ill of migrants. Yes. They are saying they must go. They are blaming them for for everything. You've already said we shouldn't yes. nationalize. Crime. crime, yeah. But now, whenever they speak about Zimbabweans, you, I mean about migrants, it's you know crime. that Zimbabweans have become the poster boys of yeah. migration here in South Africa. Yes. So I want you first to address South Africans yeah. on this rhetoric. Yeah. And then next, because we have said that Zimbabweans are also involved in crime, yeah. they may not be the highest section of criminals, mm. but they are, just like any other nationality here in South Africa, yeah. involved in crime. Yeah. And you are a Zimbabwean. Yeah. Zimbabweans can listen to you better than they can listen to any, any other, other nationality. Sure. So, first, the South Africans. in two minutes, yeah. may you kindly address South Africans. Okay. To our South African brothers and sisters and uh, political uh, counterparts, we understand the frustration that they are going through because of the economical dynamics that sometimes really things are not working out well. You can see there's lot shedding, unemployment rate is very high, and as you have alluded, crime is, 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 is getting out of hand. We understand that. But at the same time, we strongly believe that 
this there is a way of addressing this without labeling each other there is a way of uh, because if sometimes you hear uh, as you have said uh, when 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 zimbabweans are being mentioned either on social media and all that you will think uh, people are talking about animals yeah. but the matter of the fact is that not every zimbabwean is a criminal yeah. no not every zimbabwean is um, what people have decided to to, 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 to make up their mind that uh, Zimbabweans are like this. Yeah. I can assure you and I can tell you, there's a South African that has been to Zimbabwe can tell you that Zimbabweans are very humble people, very um, industrial if, and very informative for that matter. Yeah. If you live with the Zimbabweans, uh, you will learn a lot that yeah. I'm very sure about. So to our South African counterparts, Especially, you know, let's not start politics that is not sustainable. Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't, if you want to get into politics, get into politics of development. Get into politics that really takes the country and the continent um, ahead as far as development is concerned. And when you want to get into that space, being um, uh, hostile to other Africans, will never uh, take you there or will yeah. never help you. As a Zimbabwean myself, there are foreigners in, in, in Zimbabwe, if people don't know. Yeah. We do have Congolese that are in Zimbabwe, illegal for that matter. Yeah. What we do most of the time, we engage the authorities and we defend those people if they are being brutalized yeah. sometimes. You have seen what was happening. We had Malawians that were arrested in Zimbabwe, about 80 of them, yeah. illegal in Zimbabwe. So we also have foreigners in Zimbabwe whom they see our country better than their country. Yeah. Otherwise, if those foreigners were not staying, were not uh, stopping in Zimbabwe, it should be a chaos here. So we also have foreigners in Zimbabwe. But we have understood. I think it is because we have lived with foreign nationals for years, for ages in mm -hmm. Zimbabwe. We have come to know about migration at an early age as a country. You had Malawians that were coming to Zimbabwe. Yeah. They are married. We, we, the, the surname uh, Piri, for that matter, is not by any means a Zimbabwean surname. Mm. But we have the Piris that are even contesting to become MPs and councillors. Why? Because we accommodated them, we documented them. So to, 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 to sum it up, if I will appreciate maybe if other political parties that sees it as a problem. There is nothing that makes a person calm and content than documenting that person. Yeah. When you document a person, you are taming them. So let's maybe advocate for the government to document them yeah. so that they could be accounted for rather than making all these rhetorics that really um, influence things that we don't desire. We saw what happened to one of our Zimbabwean brothers, yeah, Elvis yeah. Nyati. Yeah. Why did that thing happen? It happened because of the uh, speeches, because of people speaking. Yes, we are not saying Zimbabweans are doing right and all that, but what did Elvis, what crime did Elvis commit? To cross the border? Do you deserve to be killed in that manner? No. no. Why? Now, because we really don't want to address issues collectively. We haven't seen, uh, we, we appreciate to, um, let me say that in closure on this one, uh, we appreciate the effort that uh, other political parties in South Africa, we spoke to Action SA yeah. and they really, um, uh, uh, they, they, we had a very good conversation. We spoke to EFF, we spoke to DA, we spoke to BUSA, we spoke to ANC, we work with the councillors. Why? Because we don't want anybody to be killed. We yeah. don't want anybody to be harmed. So South Africans, bear with us. We are still fixing our problems. In the meantime, those that want to renew permits, if possible, allow them. Those that are doing business legally and in a right manner, please support them. Yeah. Yeah. to Zimbabwe now. In, in as far as the socio-economic problems. Yeah. Uh, I always say, no matter how many bags of maize you can steal uh, from a rich man, as a poor man, you will never be rich. And that's what I always say. We can do 
all these sorts of things that we are doing but let's know that we they, they will never change our lives yeah. we know people that have been doing crime for ages some of them they're no longer with us they died some they are rotting in jail some they can't be accounted for what does this mean this means that crime does not pay so to my fellow brothers and sisters especially zimbabweans what we are doing is absolutely unacceptable in any society in any part of the world crime is unacceptable why because when people hear that let's say in england because these things go yeah. like now we're talking this is uh, media yeah. as you're asking me you're talking about zimbabweans that are committing crime yes somebody oh let me tell you a story i was in tanzania in in in, in november one guy said where do you come from i say i'm from zimbabwe yeah. he says yo hey you guys are uh, you are killers i said what do you mean where did you hear us killing people he said but in south africa you are the ones who are killing people so now the guy is in Tanzania, but he speaks about what happens in Zimbabwe, in South Africa. So, whenever we think we are doing this in South Africa, we are damaging our own image yeah. as Zimbabweans. People now perceive us as violent people, perceive us as criminals, and that will affect the foreign investment in our country. Yeah. Even if one day Zimbabwe gets to be stable yeah. and um, we'll start respecting the, the constitution and uh, upholding the rule of law and respecting the property rights, which is now lacking back home, yeah. you will find that investors will be in sixes and sevens, eh, whether they should come or not, because what they hear that we are doing in South Africa, yeah. you understand? Yeah. So I strongly believe that as Zimbabweans we should uh, we should uh, uh, let's let's try other means to to to, to sustain ourselves. There is not hard work doesn't kill, you know. As you have said, you know we've been around for some time, and we we, we sometimes move from this to do that, we yeah. do that, we do that. Let's come together and try to form cooperatives and all those things. Uh, there are so many things that are happening. If you look what is happening in Bulilima, the guys are coming together. You can get out of a situation of crime with that. Yeah. You will learn new things and all that. But at the end of the day, please, let's stop doing crime. It's not fancy. It's not Ayoba. It will never take us. It will never make us better people. Let's just put an end and stay cut. We stop it. Okay. Nkoli Sinube interviewing Nkoli Sinube. Thank you very much, my brother, for gracing this show. Thank you for being with us, viewers and subscribers. This is just the first of what are supposed to be many political discussions that we'll have. Next time, we hope to have more than one guest discussing different political issues from all over Africa. It's not only limited to Zimbabweans. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.